Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how to customize your Razer Black Widow Chroma Keyboard. So let's get right into it. You're going to want to go to this website right here. It's uh, razorzone.com slash synapse. And you're going to want to scroll down and find the download now. Mac. Mac users use the Mac link. Microsoft users use the Microsoft link. And once you have that downloaded, this is what you're going to see. It's going to load up and you're going to want to make sure you click on your keyboard and you're going to go to lighting. Once you're here, this is where you change all the basic effects. You can change the effects, uh, the standard effects you get are breathing where you get a color that goes fades in and out uh, you can get reactive it reacts to the keys you press so that's pretty cool uh, you can go spectrum lighting that's the standard one that comes with it you can go starlight it does random keys at any certain color you can change your colors here you can do <clears throat> static where it just stays one color you can do wave that's where you get your multicolor lighting the uh, traditional uh, view you get that gets everybody excited about the keyboard you can do a ripple effect where you press a key and it reacts to the key you press like kind of like you're touching water and that's it for the immediate effects but if you really want to get into the customization guys this is where you want to click right here you want to click on Chroma Configurator. Once you click on Chroma Configurator, this is the window you're going to see. So currently, I have a wave effect uh, layer right now, but I have all the keys selected and they're cleared. So currently, we're starting with a blank slate right now. If I was to, uh, say, add a pattern to it, say I want the rainbow effect. I apply the rainbow pattern to all the keys, hit apply, and you get your rainbow effect. Now if I didn't like the rainbows, let's say I want to go with one solid color, make it fade into black and back out. We got your, our green here. We can even change up the green. You can go pink. Pink and black. Hit apply. There you go. You got your pink and black wave. Now what I like about this feature, or about this keyboard, over more than anything is you can add multiple effects at the same time so when you go to add another uh, layer effect you can add stuff in with it like say you like the ripple effect as well as the wave effect you want to do them both so um, with your ripple effect you can select the keys you want to you want to ripple say I just want this top section to r have a ripple effect but none of the bottom sections. Uh, you select those keys, select these top keys. You want to go your pattern that you want to use. Uh, say you want it to ripple in, uh, let's have it ripple in rainbow for now. Hit apply. <clears throat> you still got your pink effect, but whenever you touch an upper key, you get your rainbow effect in those upper keys. The bottom keys won't do it, just the upper keys. So things like this, guys, you can do a lot of customization with this keyboard. I'm extremely satisfied with this keyboard. Um, I highly recommend it to any gamer out there. It's a very cool effect to have. Very awesome piece of equipment. I'll be releasing more in-depth videos about certain patterns that you can create, such as my... American flag pattern that I created. If you want to see stuff like this, I'll be releasing more videos. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good night. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll be releasing videos on both console and PC. Thank you for watching.